Mike's Lindsay. Have a seat. You ain't a graduate, Ernest Boyd. Ah. <laughs> of course, it's always great to see you, Ernest. Thank I, you, Della. I mean, I have to say, we hear everything, nothing but good things about you, and you just, you're just so smiling. You mean smiling. there's no scandal about me or anything nothing. else? Oh, good dirt. heavens. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine there would be. But how does it feel when you come back? Is you gonna when what? you come back in this area, how does it feel? I mean, I know George, you have to put up the Well, I'll tell you, I looked up and I said 107 degrees. I couldn't believe my eyes, I swear to goodness. But it was hot. And I had been to uh, Texas where they were shooting at 105 degrees, so it wasn't too bad. But on the whole, uh, we were coming home. Uh, at least I call it almost coming home because of the fact that uh, uh, University of North Alabama to me is, is, is a wonderful place, and, and uh, it's, it is like coming home. It's just a pleasure to have you here too, Thank and you. I really enjoy it. How do you put up with George? <laughs> I wonder how he puts up with me. It's a fair uh, exchange. Oh, I tell you, I drive him to distraction. Yesterday we were driving along, and I was kidding him and everything else. He said, "You know what I'm going to do?" He says, "I'm going to get out, and you can drive the car, and I'm going to take a bus." <laughs> That's right. That's what I mean. If you have a dream. If you have a dream, I don't care, even if it's just across the street, do it because of the fact that, hey, man, that's what you get, the one chance in life. Do it. We have to end every interview by saying, get out of here. That's our slogan. So if you'll tell everyone. Get out of here? Get out Let's of here. Let's get out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you so Thank much. You. you know, I had to ask Born Borgnine how, how he put up with Mr. you. Borgnine. Mr. Borgnine. Ernest Borgnine. Now, how is it you were able to get along with him so well on the way up here? We're friends. You're friends? Yeah. You say everything's wonderful? Well, everybody's just always glad to have you back here in town. Well, I'm glad to come back, but it's not really coming back. It's just like, you know, it's uh, I go away for a while, and I come back here, and I go away for a while, and I come back here. Like a second home? So it's, yeah, it really is. It really is. I like it here an awful lot. 40, 40 years, Terry asked that question. 40 years on the air. you got to make how does that make you feel? Um, I don't. Uh, I, I, it doesn't make me feel anyway. It, uh, to know that people are still watching your show and they're raising their children by it, that's got to make you feel something. The 40 part of it is not <laughs> what I'm too thrilled with. Not the years, not the many years. <laughs> obviously a wonderful program. Well, you know, when we were doing the show, we were the number one show on television. So we knew we were doing something special. And I was asked the other day on uh, some kind of television show, what was the best thing about being on the Andy Griffith Show? And I said, knowing I was going to get a payday every week. <laughs> I knew I had a job every week. That's the main thing for an actor, is to know you have steady employment. Uh, kind of granted that we were doing something very special, uh, I don't think any of us ever thought it'd be on forever like it has been. Uh, but we did know that we were uh, a very special cast and very special actors. So how mean were you to the little redhead? Uh, I, I watch him <laughs> now and see how good he was in scenes. I, I see, I play a lot of scenes with him in that show, and uh, he's he was a very very good actor. He uh, he certainly knew his craft, and then he got better at it after. See, I was only with him in a time when he was about five years old till about maybe 15. And then he went on to his another life of happy days, and then another life of movies, and then another life of as a director. So my part of his life was when, as a very young boy. Hey, are you going to be back here in football season? When we of course, Mr. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Potts <laughs> is, is already asked me what I come to a game. Yell when we win the championship. Good <laughs> All Thank right. You, Dr. Lindsay. That's right. And what do we always end it with? Uh, yes, <laughs> and I want to thank them for all the help they've given us for our festival. Princess Grill and Dan Hightower are two words that are at the top of my list. What time are you going to be there? I want you to buy my lunch. You know they're full. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, George. Dr. Thank you, George. Get out of here.